Hello everyone and welcome to this new beginner course on English with Khaled. In this new beginner course in English, I will try to speak English as much as possible. You will learn everything you need to start speaking English. If you have been learning English for a couple of years or you are just starting out, then this beginner course in English is the right one for you. You will learn new words, sentences, idioms, expressions, and also grammar. We will also be speaking English with each other. Let's start by learning about the 20 most important words about describing places. House The house is made of wood. The house is made of wood. A house is a place where people live. A house is a place where people live. Apartment the apartment is on the third floor. The apartment is on the third floor. An apartment is a place to live inside a building. An apartment is a place to live inside a building. Airport the airport has 20 airplanes. The airport has 20 airplanes. The airport is where people go to travel by planes. The airport is where people go to travel by planes. Mosque the mosque's color is white. The mosque's color is white. People go to the mosque to pray. People go to the mosque to pray. Restaurant There are eight tables in the restaurant. There are eight tables in the restaurant. Eight tables. The restaurant is a place where people eat. The restaurant is a place where people eat. Market. This market sells fruits and meat. This market sells fruits and meat. People buy food in the market. People buy food in the market. Mall the mall has five floors. The mall has five floors. People go shopping at the mall. People go shopping at the mall. Library The students read books. In the library. The students read books in the library. People read books in the library. People read books in the library. School. The children study English in school. The children study English 
in school. Students go to school to study. Students go to school to study. Hospital. The doctor works at the hospital. The doctor works at the hospital. Sick people go to the hospital. Sick people go to the hospital. Gas station. The gas station sells fuel. The gas station sells fuel. You buy fuel from the gas station. You buy fuel from the gas station. Pharmacy. There is a small pharmacy on the street. There is a small pharmacy on the street. People buy medicine from the pharmacy. People buy medicine from the pharmacy. Bank. The bank is open every day. The bank is open every day. You can put your money in the bank. You can put your money in the bank. Park. The park has a lot of trees. The park has a lot of trees. A lot of trees. You can go for a walk in the park. You can go for a walk in the park. Supermarket. The supermarket sells yogurt. The supermarket sells yogurt. People buy groceries from the supermarket. People buy groceries from the supermarket. Cinema. There are 40 people in the cinema. There are 40 people in the cinema. People watch movies in the cinema. People watch movies in the cinema. Shop. The mall has 10 shops. The mall has 10 shops. You can buy stuff from the shop. You can buy stuff from the shop. Bakery. This bakery sells chocolate cakes. This bakery sells chocolate cakes. The bakery sells bread. The bakery sells bread. Hotel. This hotel is full. This hotel is full. You can rent a room in the hotel. You can rent a room in the hotel. Bus station. There are five buses in the bus station. There are 
five buses in the bus station. People take the bus from the bus station. People take the bus from the bus station. Okay, now it's time to speak English. I will ask you questions and you have to answer. Do you live in a house or an apartment? Do you live in a house or an apartment? You can say, I live in a house. Or you can say, I live in an apartment. Have you ever been to the airport? Have you ever been to the airport? You can say, yes, I have. Or you can say, no, I have not. Do you often go to the restaurant? Do you often go to the restaurant? You can say, yes, I do. Or you can say, no, I don't. Do you go to the library? Do you go to the library? For example, you can say, always, sometimes, never. How often do you go shopping? How often do you go shopping? For this question, use the word every. Every. For example, every week or every day or every Sunday. Okay, good job so far. Now it's time to learn five important verbs in English. Let's go. أول فعل اللي احنا اليوم رح نشوفه هو الفعل go يعني يذهب بيجي بحالتين الحالة الأولى هي go to يذهب إلى والحالة الثانية هي لما يجي عنا فعل ما أو فعل آخر بعد الفعل go وقت اللي احنا منضيف الكلت أحرف ing لنهاية الفعل الآخر اللي بعد go وقت اللي احنا بصير عنا ترجمة مثل يذهب ليل خلينا نشوف أمثلة مثال على go to مثل مثلا I go to work every day. Go to. أذهب إلى. على فكرة go to بالماضي إذا رح نطلع على أسفل الشاشة على اليسار هي بتصير went to. يعني ذهب إلى. بالماضي go بتصير went. وهلا للحالة الأخرى اللي هي go زائد ing يذهب ليل. مثال I go shopping every Sunday. I go shopping أنا أذهب للتسوق مثل ما أنا شايفين الفعل shop لحنا ضفنا عليه ing حتى صار أذهب للتسوق طبعا الفعل shop هو بيجي ب p واحدة بهالحالتين هو جاي 2 b لأنه أحيانا لما لحنا نستعمل هاي الصيغة من go زائد ing فلازم نضيف حرف آخر على آخر حرف بهالحالة حرف ال p بس هذا الشيء لحنا ما بيهمنا هلأ رح نشوفه بدروس قادمة اللي بيهمنا انه go زائد ing للفعل الاخر اذا بنطلع على اسفل الشاشة على اليسار بنلاقي انه go بتصير went نفس go to الفعل الاخر هو want to يريد ان بالماضي يصبح wanted to ما بنلفظ t wanted to مو wanted wanted to مثال I want to go to Germany I want to نوصل كمان ال T الموجودة ب want و ب to تصبح T واحدة I want to أنا أريد أن وطبعا إذا نحن بدنا نحكي بالصيغة العامية أو باللغة العامية ف want to كمان نحن فينا نقولها ك wanna wanna يعني كمان يريد أن بس بالعامية الفعل الثالث لليوم هو get اللي بالماضي بيصبح got مثال عليه I want to get a new phone I want to get a new phone. 
المثال الرابع اليوم او المثال الرابع هو هاف يلي بالماضي بيصير هاد مثلا I have a huge car أنا لدي سيارة كبيرة I have أنا لدي ولا بنوصل للفعل الأخير لليوم هو make make بيجي بحالتين الحالة الأولى هي يصنع أو يعمل الحالة الثانية هي يجعل مثال أول على يصنع ويعمل بتصير I want to make some salad يعني أنا أريد عمل بعض السلطة بهي الحالة اللي احنا بنستخدم make لعمل شيء ما صناعة شيء ما بالماضي بتصير ميد بنحول الكي للدي وبالحالة الثانية ميك هوم تيجي يجعل بتصبح كمان ميد بالماضي بس بهي الحالة هي يجعل ماي تشيلدرن ميك مي هابي اولادي يجعلوني سعيدا بهي الحالة ميك يجعل اوكي جود جوب ميك شور يو براكتس مور ذان ون تايم اولسو ميك شور يو ار سبسكرايب تو ماي تشانل اون يوتيوب انجلش وذ كالد You can subscribe by clicking the button here. I'm Khaled from English with Khaled and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.